Okay, today we're going to use, we're going to remove this rubber um, thing from the, from the, uh, from the arm here, okay? And this method, there's no special tools or anything, okay? I'm gonna recap what we do, because we already did the other side already. And I'm going to recap what we do without using any special tools, okay? First, you're going to jack the car up. And you, you don't really need to remove this arm, okay? All you're going to do is remove these screws down here. And I'll show it to you. You're going to remove like five screws total. You're going to remove this arm here, screw here. You're going to remove this one here to release the arm. Then there's another screw underneath here. That's that's where the ball sits. And there's another one, the ball bushing. There's another one here. Also too is important, you need to release the brakes line. Okay, because the brake line is holding on to this, the, the emergency brake line. And you want it just to get out of the way so you can cut. Because we're going to cut this. And this is my recap before we do this. I'll sh what we're going to do is we're going to slide two, two cuts here and down here to release the pressure from here. Then you just take a ham and knock it out. Okay, so... This is the recap before I do this, and then once I take it apart and everything, I'm going to show you the next step, okay? So that's the project for today. That's what we're doing. We're taking this out because it's a bad pro because it's bad. It's actually making a lot of noise, go over bumps and stuff, and that's the culprit to this, okay? And the new part, we froze it already because you have to freeze it so it'll come through here. And I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to show you the finished product, which is right here. I don't know if you can see. It's hard to see. I know. It's underneath the air, but see it? That's pretty brand new. We did that already. But anyway, I'm going to pause the video and then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so we ended up taking this out instead. Um, the arm was really rusted, and we didn't want to jeopardize the screw. And there's a there's a nut in there. They weld them in, so it might loose afterward. So then we would have to fish it and blah blah blah. So it's more of a pain that way. It was easier to take out this route from the arm. Then we use this to screw that into the piece of wood. We put the piece of wood back there so it won't move. Now, here's, here's, here's the best part of them all. We're going to slice it this way and we're going to slice it that way. Okay, so we're going to put, we're going to cut this out. So this will be empty. And then we're going to slice it this way and we're going to slice it that way. So that way, um, um, this will really release the tension so we can hammer that out. The whole point is to release the tension from here. Because remember, this is pressed outward. So, uh, the best way to do is to put it to cut from here and here. So that way we can do that. But other than that, that's about it for now. I'm going to pause the video because um, I can't hold a camera and do it at the same time. And I'll just merch the, the 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 video afterward uh but let me clean this up i'm gonna clean this all out and then i'm gonna cut it and after i cut it i'll make the video after i cut it okay so if you noticed i cut from here slanted this way and i cut slanted this way and then now we're gonna try to knock that out okay so I'm going to work my way over here because there's nobody here to can't hold a camera at the same time. So I'm going to try to get the release this out. The trick is to release this little piece out. Then this is no longer tension. Okay. 
Okay, you see how easy this is? Look. I just knock a few knock. And it comes right out. See? Now no more tension. See that? That's how you do it. Now you're gonna you're gonna knock this out and it's gonna be easy to knock this out because there's no more tension on here. So I'm gonna put the camera down again and I'm gonna knock it out some more. But the the hardest part is right here, but it's really easy. Like I said, cut it through like I did right there and a the slice because you're releasing the tension from this this round piece and now see here it's already moved already so now I'm gonna knock it okay so I'm gonna pause the camera again okay so I'm gonna give you guys a little view I'm gonna knock this out okay because I put it on a tripod now and now we're going to see if we can knock this out I'm gonna use this to do it because it's already been through already. Look at that. Holy crap. Not even a knock. Yeah. Look at that. See that? Not even a knock. I didn't do have to do shit. Oh my god, that was easy. Yeah. And all these people. Hey, gotta use your head, right? It worked. My head did work this time. It was actually harder on the other side because I didn't think of this this concept. But yeah, that's it. That's how you knock it. And now I'm going to clean that all up. And then we're going to put the, the part in. Remember, I froze the part, okay? So it can go in easily. And we're going to use a hammer to hammer it in. But let me clean it up. Like, see this surrounding right here? I'm going to clean that all up. So when I clean that all up, it'll be easier to slide in and out. So I'm going to sand it a little bit just to make sure uh, all the gunk and stuff. You don't have to see that, but see how I was talking about compression? See how easy that was? You saw how just a few knocks and it came right off? So anyway, um, instead of fighting it, there's no way you could, uh, like I said, use your head instead. And I didn't use any tool as you can see. So anyway, um, I'm going to pause the video. To cut this down a little bit and then we'll get to the last step where you're gonna see me banging it in okay so I got everything out I cleaned it and then now I put I spray um, black spray paint on it just in case the I see some rust up there you see that right at the end so I just sprayed it um, with barbecue spray because it seems the barbecue spray seems to last longer so I that's what I did um, so now I'm gonna try to put it back so I'm gonna put everything on the tripod and I'm gonna show you how to pound that back okay so pause the video again but this is just short saying that this is just a short thing to show you what I already did like I said I clean all that up right there and I just use the barbecue spray to spray it so now um, oh, I forgot that did I I don't even mention I screw that onto a piece of wood so it won't move you see that so I use that little hole to screw it in But other than that um, We're ready to pound that up now So I'm gonna go upstairs grab the part from the freezer because remember I told you I freeze that part for like two days already and Then I'm going to take that out Okay, so I use a small hammer to make myself nice and balanced. And now I'm going to hammer it in. Now make sure to have this, this way and this way. Okay. Now I'm going to hammer the shit out of it. Excuse my language. That's how I went in. And remember, it has to come in with flushed. Really hard to hammer, but... It's the only way. It would be nice to save the ring and hammer the ring, but... I can't. I have to go this side.
this side. I'm tiring, but it'll, it'll do it. I'm weak. A little bit more. I just hit this fucking thing right here. This sign I just spray painted out the word. It's going in though. Almost. Just a little bit more. Yeah, I think it's good. It's good. It's good. Feel that? Try to make it so it can flush. You know? Yeah, the top's in further on this side than on the other side. This is the bottom, is where it is on the other side. Okay, that's it. All done. All right, so now y'all have to put it back, but as you can see, it didn't take that long, less than two minutes, and now I just, I'm going to take the barbecue spray and spray it a little bit because I actually took some of the, the paint off him here, and to prevent the rust, I'm just going to spray it over, now you just have to put it back, but you saw how easy it was. It took me more time to hammer this in than taking it out, as you can see. Uh, but the hammer will work. As long as you clean that off a little bit. Uh, I didn't damage too much. Just a little few strike that I didn't strike, you know, in the center of the hammer. So the best thing to do is try to get the center as you can. If you have a steady hand. If you have a steady hand, you should be able to do this. And now everything's all set, it's flush. They want it to flush again here. And it looks, the upper part's more flush than the bottom part. I'm gonna hit two more. I'm gonna hit two more hits. But that should be the end of the video. And you saw I didn't use any special tools or any press or anything. Um, I made this video just to, just to make sure that the fact that you can do it without any special tools. Uh, just use your head instead. And then that, that's about it.